Hello, I'm Ken EO photographer, Randall M. Roof. In this video, I wish to discuss the drive modes as seen on page 112 of the Ken EO's 1DX PDF of the instruction manual. Now, as you can see here on the middle right, uh, it talks about the drive modes. And they are the single shooting, the high speed continuous shooting, the low speed continuous shooting, uh, a 10 second self timer, a 2 second self timer, a single silent shooting, and a super high speed continuous shooting. Now in a previous video I've talked about the 2 and 10 second timer, which I'm not going to talk about in this one. What I am going to talk about though is the both the silent shooting and uh the high speed shooting. Now, first of all, let's talk about the silent shooting. Obviously, if they can make this more quiet, why would you want to have a mode that isn't quiet? Okay, I just, it doesn't make sense. Um, you know, when a camera makes a lot of noise, it draws attention, especially when they're doing weddings where uh, a lot of people will be sitting watching or some concert where they're playing music. You, you don't want to hear that camera go. If you don't have to, so why do they have a silent, uh, a single shooting and a single silent shooting? I mean, to me, they should just have a single. If they're gonna have a single shooting mode, for example, it should be as silent as possible. No matter, you know, it should, there shouldn't be two separate modes. There should be one mode for single shooting, and it should be as quiet as possible. Uh, you know, uh, so I mean, that's to me, it doesn't make sense why they have two separate modes for a single shooting. They should have one that's as quiet as possible. Okay, now, the next thing we want to talk about in this video is the speed of the shooting. Now, most of you know this camera, the EOS 1DX, can shoot up to 12 frames per second, JPEG and RAW, or 14 frames per second with the, the shutter locked up, which means it can't autofocus. So for most of us, the majority of us, we're going to be shooting at 12 frames per second, at the most. Okay, if we're shooting high-speed continuous shooting. However, I really don't like the, 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 the way they've set it up as high-speed and low-speed. Um, a lot of times, I don't need 12 frames per second. Okay, that's... Uh, for a lot of sports, really high-intensity, fast-paced sports, that's good. However, for some weddings... Or different events, you don't need uh, 12 frames per second, okay? Two or three frames per second, or four or five, would be adequate, okay? So what I would wish that Canon would do is instead of putting up a high speed and a low speed, basically that's just either it's single, it's high speed or low speed, what they need to do is set up uh, frames per second. So you can dial in, hey, I want two frames, per, I want one frame per second, two frames, three frames, four frames, five frames, six frames, seven frames, eight frames, nine frames, ten frames, eleven or twelve, or uh, thirteen or fourteen, if it is the case maybe in uh, this particular camera. Um, obviously, they don't do that, but that's what we would like because there are times where where some people are going to want twelve or fourteen frames per second, but there's other times where they're not. You know, three frames per second or four frames per second will be plenty for some events. As, uh, with faster shooting so I would like as a photographer like to be able to have that setting uh, adjusted from this, from simply high speed and low speed to frames per second and then allow me to dial in the amount of frames per second that I want um, obviously they're, uh, they're always going to make cameras faster they can do more frames per second but even so Sometimes I want that extra high speed, and sometimes I don't need it. So having the option and ability to change that would be very helpful, I think, for a lot of people, myself included. Because if I've got one picture, well, let me give you an instance. Uh, there was this cute picture of this little kid I did at a wedding one time, where he's sitting there laying on the pew in the church, and he's holding a flower, and he's really cute. But he's not really moving, he's just kind of sitting there. I don't need 14 frames a second of that kid shoot, sitting there. But two or three frames per second, or maybe four, would be more than enough uh, to get what I need. And plus, if I were to take, let's say I was to take four shots compared to, say, 12 shots, when I go back 
uh, to my Macintosh computer and do the editing of those shots, that's going to take considerably more time to edit and go through. And uh, I just don't need I don't I don't need that many for that particular situation. And um, it's more files that makes the um, it takes up more room on the disk that I'm giving people. It's more work that I have to go through. And in that particular situation, I don't need 12 frames per second. Again, three or four would be more than enough. And uh, <coughs> I think it would be nice if Canon would make it so it was adjustable. You know, I want to be able to set it where I can, you know, let's say I want to do three frames per second or four frames. Four frames for me for most of my wedding stuff is more than enough. Um, now again, sports shooters, I want to get you know, every little second in there, but um, I think adjustable would make a big difference. And I'm hoping, Ken, you're out there listening, and I hope you will consider doing that in the next version. Or perhaps you could do a firmware update that would allow for um, that kind of setting. That's just my opinion, and I thought I'd give it. Uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. Have a good day, and we God bless you. Bye.